Hi guys, welcome to my Halloween apartment tour. So when you walk into the apartment, this is what you see. There's a bathroom on the left, my little entry table, and then the kitchen. We'll start with the kitchen decor because there's not tons. I have little Nightmare Before Christmas dish towels that I got from Downtown Disney just the other day there. If you watch my Insta stories, this is the area you probably know the best. This is where I make my coffee every morning. Um, this silver tray dish is from Marshalls or Home Goods, but from years and years ago, and I just have some crystals in there. This adorable mini Halloween mug is from Downtown Disney just the other day. This little mason jar is from Target this year. These two are from Killstar, and I keep my Nespresso pods in there. And this spoon rest is from Joann's this year. This little ceramic canister is from Jonathan Adler. And you'll see I have another one on my desk. This little corner, we have this snow globe, which is from Walgreens from last year. I have a little Jack Skellington cheese board under there that I have actually used as a cheese board. These little bottles are from Michael's. This mug is awesome and it actually first saw it on Hot Topic, but then I found it at TJ Maxx for a third of the price. And then this beautiful bowl is another TJ Maxx find. And then over here we have this little fun, which you can either put candy in there or a little sponge. I don't have a smudge small enough for that, but that is from the Target Dollar Spot this year. These, I have three of these around the apartment and they are from the Lakeside Collection. It's my first time ordering from them online. They have some pretty fun Halloween decorations. This little Jack necklace is from Disney. I just got that the other day. This little skull dish is from Michael's. This bowl is a TJ Maxx find. And then up here you have one of my favorite areas because it's just chock full of Halloween decor. So I'll start with the things that are facing this way and then I'll turn around and do the other side. This cute little bat succulent is from Walgreens. These candles, the Spirit and the Nightshade are from Target. They're actually from the new John Darien collection for Threshold at Target that I love. I have a few pieces, including this candelabra from that collection. This is one of those cute pop-up cards that someone kindly gifted me. This orange um, bat lace ornate candle holder is actually from Bath & Body Works and is meant to hold a candle, but I never found one that fit um, because I don't use Bath & Body Works candles. They're just a little too scented for me. So it's just holding a giant fat stack of sage someone sent me. I have a little raven that my sister hates <laughs> and the raven is from Michaels. And then actually before I go to the other side, let's do my little console table, which is another favorite area of mine. This glittery tree is from, I believe, Michael's, but from years ago, I found it in my storage unit. These little green lights, which I also have over there are from Target. These little skull trays that I have are from Home Goods, I believe. This spider runner is from Amazon. This little bat dish is from Joann's. This is another one of the Lakeside Collection cloches. These little bottles are from the Target Dollar Spot, as are these little books. This gorgeous snow globe is from Walgreens this year that someone kindly found for me because I, I didn't find any snow globes this year, probably because I was in LA and it's impossible to find things in LA. This little glittery black branch is from Michael's. And this little bone powder jar is also from Target Dollar Spot. These gorgeous, real black roses with their like Nightmare Before Christmas themed. It was a, a special collaboration. Those were kindly gifted to me by my friend Andrea. Incredible, one of the best gifts I've ever received. And then I have this beautiful floral arrangement that I did. The vase is from Joann's. All the florals and the branches are from Michael's. And this little celestial hanging is from Lady Scorpio online. And now we'll move to the other side of the kitchen counter. So this hand candlestick holder is from Joann's. This amazing, amazing candle pillar holder that swirls and has bats 
That is from Bath and Body Works this year. It was quite expensive, one of the first things I ever bought, but I love it. This gorgeous color changing candle is from Michaels. I have another one over there that you'll see. These little Jack coasters are from Target. These little spider lights are from Target. This little glitter spider is from Michaels. These gorgeous, they're all wax black candles are from Crate and Barrel. This little house is from Home Goods. These houses are from Target. And I think they're actually a Christmas thing, but I mean, I saw black houses and I had to buy them. This epic, huge cauldron is from World Market this year, and it was advertised as a bottle, like beverage chiller. But obviously, I had lots of florals left over, and so I made this gorgeous bouquet, which I love. Um, but I think it would be so fun one year to fill it with like green lights and smoke and powdery stuff so it looks like a bubbling cauldron like the one in Hocus Pocus. This house is also from Home Goods. As I mentioned, this gorgeous candelabra is from the John Darien for Threshold Target line. And this beautiful runner is from Bed Bath & Beyond actually. And I bought that pretty early in the season. This little corner is one of my favorites. It was one of the first things I set up the tarot reading signs is from Michaels. Oh goodness, let me see if I can remember <laughs> where everything is from. This little black velvet skull is from Target. These are the Nightmare Before Christmas tarot deck that released this year. You can get them from various places. I think I got mine from Barnes & Noble. This little um, Ouija-inspired cup is from TJ Maxx slash Marshalls. I'm sorry, there is a dog barking. Uh-huh. And this piece is from Big Lots. I was actually very impressed with Big Lots Halloween decorations. This little Ouija planchette is from Michaels. These candles are from Bijou Candles and I've had them forever. I love the wand match box. And that is that corner. Into the bathroom. There's not a ton in the bathroom. I have a little skeleton dish that came with a set with the other ones from TJ Maxx Home Goods. I do have a Black Marvis toothbrush that I got from Month of Goth. These little babies are from Michaels, as is this little bathtub with the gorgeous spider detail. Another Bijou candle. This little plastic cloche is from Target and I filled it with these pink and black skulls from Michaels. And then I did put creepy cloths over the lights you can get those at Dollar Tree if you can find them. They're the cheapest there, obviously. And then I did get black towels and black mats for Month of Goth. And then here, both of these pieces are from Michaels. This is another cloche from that Lakeside collection. This little bat succulent is from Target. These, This little potion jar, apothecary jar, and this one are both from Michaels. This witch's potion potion jar is from Walgreens. This cauldron is from Crate and Barrel, I believe. Oh no, I think this one is from Michaels, but I do have smaller Crate and Barrel ones that I use as actual soup bowls. This little set of Sally jars, it was a gift, um, but I believe you can get it at Box Lunch and Hot Topic. This palmistry piece is from TJ Maxx. This gorgeous snow globe is from Disney from last year and I love it because it has this beautiful iridescent confetti and you can use it for Christmas and Halloween. This is another little potion bottle from Walgreens. And then I did put up a black, it's like a damask print shower curtain from Killstar. Next, I will take you into my office. I live in a studio apartment, so this is all one open space. But this is my little office section. I have this little Deadly Nightshade lit bottle lamp that I got from Spirit Halloween last year. This little birdcage is from the Target dollar spot. Purple lights are from Target. This little Disney Villains votive holder is from TJ, no, yes, TJ Maxx. This velvet purple skull is from Target. This little haunted house, I think it, it holds the soaps 
the foaming soaps from Bath and Body Works, but I just like loved it. And I actually hid the battery pack in here, but I think it's such a fun piece. I love all the detail. This little Nightmare Before Christmas lamp is from Spirit Halloween as well. Little Cauldron is from Michaels. This is another pop-up card. I love it. It's like a full haunted house forest vibe. Oh, I have to show you this. So my friend sent me this Starbucks cup early in the season. And then just recently, my friend Rachel made this skull straw topper. I've never had one of those, but I'm basically obsessed. And I like it because it matches this. This gorgeous, it's very heavy, um, votive holder skull is from, it was a gift from my friend Carrie. I love it. It's like a housewarming gift. It couldn't be more perfect. I'm going to have that out year round. The peeping poppies are from Target this year's ghoulish garden that I know were very hard to find. I could not find them in LA. I had to get them from a small suburb in Sacramento. This is a beautiful illustrated piece from Lauren Inc. Illustrations. This neon bat sign is from Target last year. I have another Jonathan Adler little ceramic canister. This candelabra is from Michaels, as are the little LED tea lights in there. Another little skeleton skull dish. And then up here we have even more illustrations from Lauren Inc. Love her stuff. I just, and she did, she has so much core line, which is quite hard to find. These frames, by the way, are from Walmart. They're very lightweight. I love them. This gorgeous pearl encrusted skull is from Michaels, as is this pink iridescent unicorn skull, the black and pink lace pumpkin. This rose gold bone pillar is from Home Goods, but from many years ago. I have a little Beetlejuice, um, what are these called? Like leatherette trays from Hot Topic. This little skull rose piece is also from Michaels. This is a gorgeous candle that my friend Patty sent me as a housewarming gift. Down here we have another Lauren Inc. illustration of the Pink Palace from Coraline. This fortune teller sign is one of my favorite things and it is from Home Goods. This little black velvet coffin piece is a ring holder. Um, my friend Stacy got it for me. I'll have to find out where it's from. I think it's a UK brand though. And then down here, we have a little jack with a little light inside. This black plant piece is from the John Darien for Target line, but I think I'm gonna return it because I just don't have a good place for it. This little bat lace overlay is also from Bed Bath & Beyond. It is the same line as the runner on my kitchen counter, the kitchen bar. This is my witch hat from Spirit Halloween. And then over here, I just have this little spell sign. This is from the Target dollar spot this year. And this gorgeous wreath, which is from TJ Maxx. It reminds me of the wreath I really wanted from Grand and Road, which is a beautiful website, but very expensive. So I was really thrilled when I found that. And then we can move on into the bedroom. So first thing in the bedroom that you see is this huge black dream catcher. This was a Marshall's find and it's actually backwards because it has gold detail on the other side, but I didn't want that. It's a very different vibe. So I just flipped it over. This little wall plug-in nightlight, it's actually one of those fragrance diffusers from Bath and Body Works, but I just use it as a nightlight and the detail this house is incredible. I love haunted houses, in case you can't tell, and cauldrons and witches, and it has, it projects that light. Oh, I forgot. I also have a little Jack Nightlight, which is a Scentsy Warmer, but again, I don't use those, so it is just a cute little nightlight. That was a gift. And then over here, we just have a little black and gold studded pumpkin from Big Lots. And then I have a couple of snow globes from Walgreens last year. I did get these black velvety sham covers from Killstar. The stripe pillow is from Michaels. The pumpkin king is from Disney. The coffin pillow is from, I think I found it ultimately on walmart.com, but I think 
it was something somebody had found once, maybe at like a Marshalls type thing, but I love it. For here on my bedside table, this little Nightmare Before Christmas trinket dish is from Disney. This little coffin, oh hello, shelf is from Amazon. This beautiful um, like decanter bottle is from Joann's. I'm so sad because they had a bunch and I only found one and I, <laughs> one of my regrets this year is not going faster. These little um, fake books are from Michael's as well as this little crystal ball. And I love that it's got this green. I have like a whole green vibe. I've got the green lights from Target. This is another candle that color changes from Michael's. And this is another one of those Walgreens potion bottles and another Bijou candle. Last but not least, we have the living room area. And this little side table is one of the first things I created. This large plastic cloche is from Target, like the smaller one in the bathroom. The pink pearl encrusted skull is from Michael's, as is the book stack, the little um, animal skull. The cauldron candle was a gift from last year. This spider web is a placemat from Big Lots. These pillows are from Joann's and match my couch so perfectly that I love them. They probably won't stay because they won't go with the theme of my apartment after Halloween, but I do love them. I have these little pink pearl encrusted pumpkins from Michaels, and I just hung a drapey black gauzy thing over my mirror. The bats on the wall are from Amazon. The wreath is from Walgreens and was a gift. The little creepy hand is from Target. And this is my little NBC Village area. I got these pieces later and so I didn't have a place for them and then I realized this is a perfect one. So first of all, this tray, this tray is one of the John Darian for Target Threshold pieces and it's amazing if you can see the details, like bones. Um, and then I found this online from walmart.com. I think it's that department 56. I'm, I'm probably giving the numbers wrong, but it's that whole line, not cheap. <laughs> but epic. Um, these little figurines were really inexpensive. They came in a whole pack from Disney.com, Shop Disney. These are little trinket boxes. You can open the top and they're from Hot Topic, but they're perfect. They look just like the ones ah in the movie. I'm sorry, Mr. Mayor. And this candelabra is from Walgreens from this year. It is a little broken. It got a little broken in transit, but it was a gift and I love it. I actually have another one that was also a gift. I am playing Nightmare Before Christmas. Then over here, we have this little skull LED candle. It's kind of got that waxy feel from Home Goods. These little LED lights that are Beetlejuice themed. I actually found them from Poshmark. Love Lydia, but I think they were originally from Hot Topic, but probably from a few seasons ago. This black floral garland is from Michaels. And then quite possibly my favorite is my haunted house forest vibe. So I did have this diorama for a while and it was just a house with like florals everywhere. All the florals are from Michaels and it's a lot of different stuff. I layered on top of one each other, one each one of, wow. I layered on top of each other. The house is from Big Lots and this tree both of them are from the Target Dollar Spot. They're like black velvet. Lights are from Target. The little diorama. Oh, this little entrance and cemetery is from Target, actually. Those are not from Michaels. And then the little diorama is from the Haunted Mansion in Disney. And I just thought it was so cool. It falls apart very easily. If I touched it, the whole thing would collapse. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do next year. I might have to like glue it together or something, but I just, I did think it looked very cool. We all, we're going to have to figure out something. I need more space. So yeah, but I love this. The forest house came together exactly how I had envisioned. I just have some cute Halloween throws and pillows in here. These are from Target. This is from Disney, Disney, Disney. This beautiful headless horseman was a TJ Maxx find. The Ray Dunn Boo Pumpkin, also TJ Maxx. 
as well as the starry ceramic pumpkins. And then last but not least is my tree, which is the first Halloween thing I ever bought is the actual tree. It is from Michaels. I wanted it to have kind of a Nightmare Before Christmas Beetlejuice vibe. So it did come pre-lit and then I just got that ribbon from Michaels and tied it up top, very Beetlejuice. This little piece, they're just little branchy things from Michaels that I stuck in there. I have the green and the purple, that's very Beetlejuice. This is one of my favorite ornaments. This is from Joanne, as are these. Um, these little Nightmare Before Christmas ones were a gift. These little pumpkins, again, they're like one of those branchy things with a stick that you just stick in, as is this, which I love. I really love how the tree came out. Spider from Michaels. Lots of little, all, most of the little like classic ornaments are from Joann's, um, as is this skeleton. And that's it. <laughs>